everyone, and welcome back to Movie Rays. The best thing happened, guys. The CW has decided to return Legacies for a third season because, well, the drama with Salvatore School for the Young and Gifted needs to go on. On January 8th, the official Twitter account of Legacies announced that the vampire teen drama is returning. Now, the question we all need an answer to, will Elena and Damon appear in the new season? So guys, this is where we come in. We're about to reveal everything you need to know about Legacies Season 3 and Damon and Elena's possible appearance in the upcoming season. Season 3 release date. I'm the only one of my kind. I'm born from evil. Fighting every day to be good. Season 3 of Legacies will premiere on Thursday, January 21st, 2021 at 9 p.m. Eastern Time Pacific Time. It will be introduced by the opening of Supernatural star Jared Padalecki's Walker. And while we expect old characters from the Vampire Diaries universe to make an appearance, nothing has been confirmed as of yet. Although, there are some strong reasons which indicate we're going to see them, for which we're going to talk about later. One thing we're sure about is that Hope, Landon, Alaric, and more will be returning. Latest update. The spirit or the host to be willing, right? I want you to put his spirit in me. This just got spicy. So at least we're sure that Legacies is ready to please fans with the third installment. Now let's go back to the second season and see the possible appearance of Elena and Damon. Legacies somehow continued the story of the Vampire Diaries and the originals. What's amazing is that the spin-off fantasy drama had had an amazing success. And while we're waiting for the third season, we just hope that Legacies will have more seasons and a better ending than those of TVD and the originals. So what about Elena and Damon's potential appearance? While fans were busy with theories about possible events in season 3, Ian Somerhalder and Nina Dobrev gave some interesting hints on their anticipated debut on the show. Legacy Story and pass notes in magical history. We throw parties in the woods and crash the local high school's dances. The Vampire Diaries ended a long time ago, but fans have been hooked to the spin-off series that the CW and Julie Pleck worked their magic on. While fans were not satisfied with the original's ending, two seasons later, Legacies has made its mark in the TVD universe with an 8.9 out of 10 rating by TV.com. The first season of Legacies ended with an unhappy event for Hope, she was forgotten by everyone after jumping into Malivore, but Raphael's fate was the most unfortunate one. He was held in a werewolf's body because of the ring Hope gave him, and without Hope, he had no means of transforming into a human. Back then, there was a theory that Raph could be correlated to everyone remembering Hope before the terrible events took place, but that wasn't the case. Elena Gilbert It's really gone this time. How do you wake up in the morning? Now let's move on to TVD. Elena Gilbert was a central character for a long time on The Vampire Diaries and during Legacies. She's been up to many things. She took different roles and she expressed a lot of affection for the spin-off of the show that made her famous. It's kind of weird as she's the main character of The Vampire Diaries, but Elena Gilbert hasn't yet appeared in Legacies. However, we believe that this season, the upcoming third season of Legacies will be the one where she and Ian will finally appear. Based on L.J. Smith's popular series of books, The Vampire Diaries was produced by Kevin Williamson and Julie Pleck. Starting way back in 2009 on The CW, the legendary drama ran for a total of eight seasons. And the best thing is that it also caused two direct spin-offs. First the originals, and lately, the ones we love the most, Legacies. Few Roles Dear Diary, Today will be different. Nina Dobrev had the chance to represent different roles that had different characters in the Vampire Diaries. The one that was our, and we believe everyone's favorite, was her first one, which was Elena Gilbert, initially a human. Throughout the show, her character was exposed to many secrets regarding Mystic Falls. Her connections with the Vampire Brothers Stefan and Damon Salvatore created such a love triangle that we just couldn't get enough of the chemistry. Oh, Nina Dobrev and Ian Somerhalder were a couple back then and that just made things more and more enjoyable. Dobrev unfortunately left the show at the end of The Vampire Diaries season 6. She finally came back for the show's series finale, and she and Damon eventually got their happily ever after. It was mentioned that the couple lived a long and happy life. 
the originals. Dear Diary, today will be different. Today I will smile. We found out a bit about Elena's life after TBD since it was explained in the original's fifth and final season. Elijah and Klaus came back to Mystic Falls for a short time, and we could see a window. A window with the same name, Elena Salvatore, MD. Throughout TBD, Elena had dreams about becoming a doctor. The show has a seven-year jump and we can see that Elena's dreams come true. And since Legacies takes place in the overall timeline, Elena is probably still in the same place. When it comes to her love life, well, this is where her husband, Damon, shows up. Legacy Season 1 are at school for the supernatural, which covers a lot of territory. In Legacy Season 1, Episode 10, there's a world where your dreams come true. We can also see a little of Lena's life and the newest updates regarding her story. Lizzie, who is the creator of the new timeline caused accidentally, Here's a mention of Stephanie Salvatore, the daughter of Elena and Damon. She got the name in honor of Stefan, who's sadly gone. But we don't know if Stephanie is only a result of this alternate world or someone from the eventually re-established timeline. Now we all know that Elena always wanted children, and when she became a vampire, the inability to have a child was the thing that she mostly hated. Hence, this is an undeniable result of her married life with Damon. Since the Salvatory School for the Young and Gifted possess other ways of dealing with health, it's doubtful that they will require her medical knowledge. Hence, she has the role of protecting the human residents of Mystic Falls. So since Elena and Damon are now officially human, their daughter is also a human. This means she won't need to go to Alaric's special boarding school. So knowing all of this, we just hope to see both Elena and Damon in Season 3 of Legacies. Physical appearance needed. Alternative Universe Fans of The Vampire Diaries have been wanting to get an update on Damon and Elena ever since the CW spin-off series Legacies started. With the mentioning of the name Stephanie Salvatore during Episode 10, fans immediately started creating theories about their appearance. Since there are not many details about the couple and their kids, there are a million theories that fans came up with. Now let's get back to the episode There's a World Where Your Dreams Come True. In this episode, Lizzie Saltzman is faced with a wish-granting genie and wishes hope to be gone from her life. Lizzie requires that the Salvatore School doesn't exist, which makes her go to Mystic Falls High School as an avoided and unpopular student. In this temporary reality, the popular one, Josie requests Lizzie to take Alaric's watch so she can take the power of it. She then informs her that that watch was given to him by Stephanie Salvatore's dad, probably Damon Salvatore. And if you remember, he was Alaric's best friend on TVD. Young Stephanie Salvatore. When TVD ended, Damon and Elena settled down, became humans, and lived their lives in peace. As we said, Elena became a doctor and she now works in Mystic Falls. This means her kids, including Stephanie Salvatore, also live in the town with them. So when Josie mentioned Stephanie in passing, we never got any information about how she knew about her. According to some fans, Stephanie was a teenage friend of Josie's and she is apparently still very young. The way Josie mentioned her made it seem like Stephanie Salvatore went to school with them. But wouldn't she only be 11 at most? Wrote Reddit user I Love Bromances. It's only been 12 years since Elena woke up. Is she a genius that skipped a lot of grades, or is it a way for the writers to announce the name of one of Elena's children and how she was named after his brother? The showrunner Julie Pleck told at San Diego Comic-Con interview that when Damon and Elena finally had children, they'd be younger kids by now. The name. I hate All this time you left me wanting about you. Listen to me, I can't. As we previously said, the name Stephanie is given as an honor to Damon's brother Stefan. We all remember him being with Elena for some time during TBD and sacrificing his life in order for his brother and Elena to live a happy life. So the couple decided to name their child Stephanie. According to some fans, Damon and Elena's daughter would probably be great friends with Alaric, Lizzie, and Josie, unless Damon and Elena have completely removed themselves from all supernatural things. Alaric included. It would stand to reason if they had a child, they would know the twins and Alaric, as they would be close friends of the Salvatore family, wrote Reddit user Defiant Conference. 
It's expected the Saltzman and the Salvatories to be close. Caroline and Elena are really close. Same with the case of Damon and Alaric. Also, if you think about the rich history of the families, Alaric was married to Elena's birth mother, and Caroline was married to Stefan. It's pretty clear that they keep their relationship close. So guys, this is the end of our video. Do you have your own theory about Elena and Damon in season 3? Let us know about it in the comment section below. Make sure you like the video, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more amazing videos such as this. As always, thanks for watching!